السلام عليكم ورحمة الله أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم والصلاة والسلام على رسولنا محمد سيد الأولين والآخرين مدد يا رسولنا مدد يا سادة أصحاب الرسول مدد يا مشايخنا الدستور ما شاء الله تعالى بأسان شاء محمد الله الرحمن الرحيم طريقاتنا الصحبة والخير في الجمعية على شكر الله تنك الله رمضان تتس رمضان الطان Because of the situation in the world, such that people forgot about days and months and seasons, but this holy month, because of its manifestation, it is showing itself as higher and more important than anything else. And so for moments for believers, it's a reminder. For those who are not believing, may Allah guide them and fix them and restore them. But in this holy month, Allah has created many beautiful things and gifted them to people. Heavenly books of Allah were sent down to his messengers and prophets all the way from Adam to our prophet. They all they were all revealed in this month, during this month. And then in the end, this Holy Quran was revealed and every month every year the prophet would recite it to Jibreel during the month of Ramadan because the surahs were not organized from surah Bakara to Ikhlas or Nas so, through Jibreel, our Prophet was recited. Some was revealed directly to our Holy Prophet. And so every Ramadan, our Holy Prophet would recite it, and Jibreel would correct it and listen to the recitation. Therefore, during this Ramadan, during Ramadan, especially to worship and especially to recite the Quran and to attend Muqabala is has carries great rewards and it's and it carries a great virtue. And you'd be applying the Prophet's Sunnah. Allah and Allah would give you both in this world and in the hereafter. And what is going to provide you in the hereafter is, is a lot more. You can't even compare them. But even in this world, if you recite Quran and attend Muqabala, the group recitation, they will be gaining huge rewards. If you say you don't know how to read, well, you attend the gathering and just listening or watching the book while they read, you would be getting the same rewards. And of course, our Holy Prophet would also pray the Taraweeh during Ramadan. And it's one of the sunnas. And those who do it, 20 rakats, not eight rakats. Our Holy Prophet did eight rakas, so it won't be a difficulty for the people. But in reality, it's 20. He would pray 20. He wouldn't do all 20 in congregation. He would complete the rest at home. 
and the Khulafa Rashidun caliphs that came later, Abu Bakr, Omar, Osman, and Ali, they all followed his sunnah and did the 20. And the Prophet says, follow the sun, my sunnah and the sunnah of my khalifas. People who don't even pray make statements alleging that it's not right to do so many and whatnot. Don't look at them, don't listen to them. We are taking it from the true springs and the true source of the Holy Prophet and it came all the way to us and this is how it's been throughout time so don't there's no need to look at and listen to the new things that come out new people who come out with new claims as the Ahlus Sunnah al Jama'ah this is this is the true way this is the true method those who say other things they are on shaitan's path such that shaitan is envious of your prayers so you don't gain more rewards so the whole of ramadan is is beneficial for us and it's a reward and it's a blessing and barakah and light and beauty for us may allah bless it for us for the sake of and the honor of our Holy Prophet, may this nation be protected and may it be strength for our faith. And whatever troubles that we have, may they be removed and may they stay far from this nation, Ummah, inshallah. May Allah accept and answer our prayers, inshallah.